bone too fat? Damn it. These Mirelurk eggs, where are they? I know I have Mirelurk eggs. These things are a pile of garbage. Get rid of them. There, I should be able to move. Good. Alright, we're gonna head to Overland Station, then save it there. And what I mean by save it is go to sleep. We need to set up some defenses for those assholes anyway. We also need to head over to Hangman Alley and set up some more defenses, because they somehow ran out. Which is good. That means we got a couple more people there. Thank goodness we can't be struck by green lightning. Otherwise, that would be quite the impromptu and embarrassing end. We still have decent god rays, even at low god ray level. Alright, before we do anything else, though, let's go ahead and do a cook. I know we have some stuff to cook. Uh, uh, we were just punching those crabs. Uh -huh. All right, so you guys needed Lost track of how many the stuff, huh? The defensive stuff. Now well, let's see what we got. I don't think I have enough. I need one more oil. You guys don't have like an oil lamp or something laying around? I mean, I'm doing everything for you people. You could supply me with some oil. No, about everything but oil. Well, fuck it, I'm gonna go to bed. We'll see about this oil thing after the storm is over. You can send Saint that. You can send unnamed settlers to other settlements without local leader. Oh. Overweight again? Damn it. I must be getting food buffs. That's what's happening. Lethal has a nice food, then he's feeling buff. Uh, do we have any beer or anything that I could just drink for this? No. It's even the point of living. Alright, let's go ahead and just get rid of some other junk then. Let's just go ahead and put in the station if I can get down there without breaking my legs. Can I use. I'm looking for trouble, I hope. I'm looking for trouble. Almost there. Okay, good. Good, good. I didn't get hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, we have these stupid limbs. Those are fairly heavy. Hmm. The hell is this? Well, I guess it's just a misc item. So why is it in there? You can't pick it up or anything, jackass. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, I guess you people are going to have to defend yourselves. I would build you a turret, but, you know. I don't have the stuff for it, so there you go. I got a spotlight. That produces stuff and things. Somehow. <laughs> don't ask how. Also, don't ask how the hell I know how to make it. How much is a little generator for that? Oh, that requires copper. Well, I guess you guys are still hosed. Congratulations. You get a tower. I'll put it right up here on the tracks. Enjoy. How are you, dicks? Sleeping in your own bed. Disgraceful. Yeah, you really don't need, like, seven food. Okay, there you go. Everything is as it should be. Alright, next stop. Let's go ahead and head over to our favorite place. Hangman Alley, which now has nine people. Christ. At least this one is the one I want to actually get people. Yeah, it only has six defense. It needs, like, nine more. Well, it needs three more. For a total of nine. Mm hmm So over here in the UFO country, which nothing is really transpired in. That's fine. We'll be able to carry more stuff once we go to Hangman Alley also. Uh, 
Uh, there may have been there, Aizakawa, but it's not important. We're gonna head downtown, look for some stuff and some things. We're also gonna make a... Oh, come on now. We're gonna stop by Mass Fusion, because I'd like to pick up something. Someone there! Nope. Something's out there. Oh, I'm out of AP. That is regrettable. Just like your fate. That's one quality tree. Knock that guy's arm clean off. Also, he had something on his belt that looked interesting. He almost had, like, a used oil can on there. I don't know if you guys saw it. Yeah, this game is not too easy on this difficulty. On lower difficulties, it's definitely a bit more manageable. Like, normally that encounter would have torn a player to shreds, but I've taken steps to not be torn to shreds by getting pretty much in-game armor very early. As early as I could. Oh good, we're back. Just hanging out, having a good time. First things first. Put all the stuff and the things in here. Let's pick up our stim packs. Or put down our stim packs, rather. This is the best place to put these. We'll put 82 in there. If I'm using more than 30, we have a problem. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. It's as honest as honest work gets. Well, that's good. Isn't that something? No. This is not something at all. It's your imagination. Let's see what we got here in the old box. We need steel, but we could make we could make two of these if we just had a little more steel. Okay. Well, steel I can swing. What's this made out of? Wood. Come on, mouse. Oh, good. Well, there's one. Do we have any more steel? There's a flaming can there, but of course we can't use the steel from that. That chair had five steel. That's good. Definitely feeling a bit of lag here. All right, how many do we have now? We need just like three more and we can make one more turret. Maybe I'll just look around outside. We'll build two of these suckers around here. This is our main settlement, of course, the one that matters most. So, it's definitely worth everything we spend on. Also, I could, I was gonna say, I could put it right there. Why does that thing look so big? All right, let's go pick up some water. I know, steal my lunch, will you? Huh? Hello, dog meat. Just wandering around, are we? <laughs> Everyone's commenting on me picking up stuff because we're near a settlement with pretty much all the companions in it. They're, oh my god, you need a fancy hairbrush? I'm all, yes. I know Skull Punch doesn't have a whole lot of hair right now, but fuck you. I do what I want. Come on, there's gotta be just like a wrench or two around here. Well, Psycho, you can't go wrong with that. Of course, Psycho, one of my favorite drugs in this game because I need that damage output. Maybe over here. It's like a place with some stuff. Well, I can't see shit. Okay, that is you, Nick. It's good. We have trucks and stuff. I think I already got rid of the trucks that are near there. Hmm. Maybe lethal's wrong. Maybe there's nothing around here. And all of a sudden I can't jump as high as I could prior late. There you go. Nope. I thought there was no bird stairway. There's not. Just a bunch of trash. Well, we can always stick our heads over here. I think we already cleared this area out last time of its mutant presence. In fact, I remember one of our deaths last session was in this very area. Mostly because of legendary super mutant eviscerated my face. More bottle caps. 
And take the cash register, even though that probably would have stuff in it. Coffee cup. It's a shame I can't just break down random shelves. I have to be next to a workshop to do it. Because I couldn't possibly break, you know, anything into small bits, being who I am. That's a bottle cap mine. Lantern? You gotta have steel in you, right? Yeah, just the right amount, too. Fantastic. All right. Why don't I see it on there? There it is. We'll go build this other turret. And then we'll head over the Piper in Diamond City. I'm too fat to get through there. There's a random body. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Or the Oz that Skull Punch was once a hairdresser? I don't think so. I mean, all we really know about Amos Sharp, the past persona of Skull Punch in here, is that he was once in the military. That's about all. Hmm. Rats. Hey there, Diamond Man. Alright, we'll go here, go to Diamond City, we'll probably be heading the good fellow after that, if I remember the quest line right, which is good. And then after that, we'll head to Mass Fusion, Fusion for some fun. Huh? Err? I wonder what has happened as well. Is what has befallen the Commonwealth a typical, less extreme? No. Good, you're happy with that. Also, what are our stats here? Nine people, 16 food, 16 defense. That'll do. That should keep him set for a while. And if it doesn't, well, I don't know what to say. Also, I have become thirsty again, because it has been a multitude of seconds. He was just a cook. time of day it is. It's kind of hard to tell when it's raining. I could, of course, always look, but eh. Let's go ahead and hoof it back to Diamond City, our regular stomping grounds. Like I was saying before, though, Malvich is a lot about the fast travel not being in here, but you do actually see quite a bit more of the game with this, and it actually takes a lot less time to get around in the Commonwealth than you might think. Or at least, Defending that's my impression. Of course, it's not as fast as instantaneous. But you know, whatever, right? Let you have a walk of shame after you don't turn on the main goddamn pumps. Eh, I, I'm mostly keeping around... Nick right now, just for flavor. And I do like Nick. All right, Piper. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? Like how so, she did gesture to my direction, even though I changed sides. On this little case of yours. What's the story? What's the story? Well, someone's got to pay. Now, nah, let's see. Where to begin? Oh, we just need help. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But... 
to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. Well... Hmm. He had access, clearly. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Well... Because he's in hell. Because he's in hell. Where he belongs. So... A murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. I mean, there's probably other bigger ones, but I'd do it again. And you wouldn't even have to give me a Klondike bar. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. Ah, you guys are being dicks. You know, <laughs> Only I may be dicks. The man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. Mm -hmm. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Uh-huh. Okay. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Well, I tend to ha I happen to have a piece of his brain right here. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Okay, dope. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm going to do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, dope. Dangerous minds. Yeah, so now we're going to head over the good neighbor. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. That would be Diamond City's motto. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Also, that is true there, Katie. I mean, Nick's kind of necessary for the whole thing, so it's obvious that he has to be there, right? Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? <laughs> yes? <laughs> So, of course, he sells soup. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in giving him this... Oh, I... Huh. I guess I just never noticed that I couldn't sell you non-food products. Well, hmm. I mean, you'd like razor rain. Have some of these mutt fruit that I'm carrying for no particular reason. Have them all. Have all these melons. Whoops. I gave you something that wasn't a melon. You'll bring it back. Give me a couple of those. Just like three of them. I don't need any more than that. I just want your money. Damn. Why do I have so much card? This is why Lethal's getting weighed down. He has all this garbage. Alright, that's good. When life gives you <laughs> melons, then you get apparently ramen noodle soup. to make a purchase. It's what I live for. You don't live, you're a robot. Let's see what you got. The highest quality available. The highest, huh? Do you have any power fists? That's all garbage. But at least your money's still good. Have, uh, hmm. Still have a bunch of this. There you go. Give me your money. Now we'll give you some prizes. What time of day is it? Eh, it's not too long before hey, everything opens. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? Don't ask me. Keep looking at me like Am that. I the Google machine? Hmm? 
We'll go ahead and sit in our favorite bench for four hours in the rain. I'm sure I won't get sick. And if I do get sick, well, there you go. You been to Good Neighbor? Friggin' hole. Ghouls and chemheads all over. Hey, I'm a chemhead <laughs> chem too, asshole. That's right, We but... offer a wide variety of medical treatments. You go ahead and silence that bugger. Come on, Phone. There you go. I was all, why don't you turn on the thing? Patch me up, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Let's see. Get my rads. We'll clean you up. Don't Burp -burp. worry. He just sort of like gives me a cockeyed glance, and I'm better. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? Get my health while you're at just it. Hurt. Uh, I don't think I, I have any diseases, but better stitch you up before infection. Might as well. There's the needle. Gotta tap it. I know, man. Watch Hold me on. holding that bat, the complaints? stroking it lovingly. That was it. As Off he just gives it. me a glare and shakes his head. Oh, yeah, I should probably sell stuff to you. Oh, well. It's not important. What's important is probably the man over here. Although, to be honest, Infection we'll probably find what I'm looking for in Good Neighbor. Pizza. You know, a shotgun We've seen insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. Eh, shotguns for, are Let's for see what you got. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Well, I'll stock you up on ammo. Not the other way around. The big boy, the boxing glove, serrated sword, heated power fist, put it in a goddamn bag, you son of a bitch. No one loves you. All right. Perfect. 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 That means that we can make our power fist even more powerful, and we don't put any points at all in the blacksmith, which is fantastic. And we're actually making money off of this deal, which is additionally good. They didn't give you my power cores or anything stupid, right? They're just back at the base, right? Good, 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 good. All right. Kill it. Now let me go over to... Is it this one? That's the armor one. Here's the weapon one. So with the heated power fist, we do need to make a no-upgrade version of this. That's good. And now if I go over here, I should be able to put the heating coil on. So we do 136 damage here. If I go over here, we do we do 140. No, it's still 130. 